So fun <laughs> fact, you're also a scripper. <laughs> How long have you been making dicks hard and wives jealous? Ooh, we okay. Know. So one one thing. Okay, uh, I'd say like five years. Five years off and on. Like right now, I'm on a break. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I started selling pictures of my asshole on OnlyFans, like nice. I said. So like that's been taking like Love all it. of my <laughs> that's been taking all of my uh, you know income. Mm-hmm. But um, no, I've been doing it for so long, uh, for like five years and a half ish, and it's cool. Like my thing is is like, so like my one of my favorite things is when men will come in, um, and they'll have like this fat ass tan line from where their wedding mm, wedding ring is. Yeah. And like I'm a snitch. <laughs> I love I'm it. I'm a snitch, yes. like hardcore, dude. Like, <laughs> so what I do is like I gather all their information, and I'm mm. like, yeah, dude. Like, what's what's your wife's name? Like, da da da. And then like I'll pull that bitch up on fucking like Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> And then, like, I'll be like, I'll just tell him, like, yo, I took a picture of you already. I'm going to send this to your bitch. Like, you need to, like, not come back here. And, like, I never see them again. And oh that's, like, my, my favorite. Because, like, I've been on the other side of that. Like, never yeah, been married. But, right. like, you know, I've been cheated on and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, it's, like, I don't like to, I don't condone that at all. So, like. I love that. You're an honest, honest scripper. I love oh, it. Yeah. I think that's great. Thank you. Absolutely. So, do you actually enjoy dancing or is it just for the money? So, honestly, <laughs> I'm a terrible stripper. I'm a terrible entertainer. I'm a better entertainer. Um, Majority of my time when I'm working, uh, I'm not dancing. Oh, I don't dance. Like, I the way I say it is, I sell my personality more than I sell my body. Mm Because you know, I don't have big titties. I just have a big personality. So I've got to you know make up for it somehow. Mm -hmm. So like, whenever I'm working, I'm I'm on stage. I'm like doing the robot. I'm doing the fucking worm. I'm trying to crip walk on stage. I've (laughs) twisted my ankle and busted my ass so many times by crip walking and trying to moonwalk. It's hard to moonwalk in nine inch heels. I was gonna say, yeah, that's talent. Very hard to moonwalk. Tips for that. (laughs) Yeah, but like the the worm's cool because like the the thing is padded and you know it works. Like, and I make just as much money. As the girls who put their pussy in dudes' face. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. I make just as much, if not more. If not more. You're right. So so what's the most money you've made in one night at the club, if you (laughs) don't mind divulging? No, yeah. Um, So I was working at Bones in uh, Old Town, or like in Scottsdale one year, um, and it was for the Waste Management Open. Or it was either Barrett-Jackson Week or the Waste Management Open. And do you remember the guy or the commercial that was like, F-R-E-E, that's what was for you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. So I ended up getting, I ended up meeting him. He now owns Credit Karma. But he's like, oh, yeah, I own free credit, mm-hmm. whatever. And then he's like, I own Credit Karma now. I just, like, bought it. And he, I was, like, dancing. I was doing my normal, I, like, you know the Tina twerk? Yeah. Do you know what yes. that is? So, like, I just, I'd be doing, like, that mm-hmm. and stuff. And I was telling him, like, yeah, doing all this. And he's like, oh, oh, my dick's not hard. You know, I'm on so much coke. Let's go to the VIP room. Oh, my. And VIP room in Scottsdale at that club is, like, $2,500 for an hour. Oh, wow, wow. Okay. And so, yeah. So, like, we were back there for, like, six or seven hours. Whoa. Six or seven hours. And I made 1200 $12,500 that night. Nice. Yeah. Now, what cut like, of that? Ha- or was that with the club's cut already taken out? Yeah. Or you had to get? Oh, no, that was, like, nice. the club's taken out. Hell yeah. Yeah. Did anything like, did you have to do any like weird uh, oh, no. stuff back there? No, no, I literally, I just, I just fucking. Yeah. Just did, did your, the robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love and, it. And like, I mean, like I'd sit on his leg and stuff, yeah. but like, I, I'm not, I'm not one to like grind on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't be doing that. I love that. I don't like to be touched. I don't like, I hate, I just, I hate, I hate being at the ship club. I hate being seen like that you yeah, know yeah. and I, th- I honestly think it's disgusting how much money women can make just by being beautiful yeah yeah and like sexy sure. as fuck you know i think mm-hmm. it's trash but you know i still do it <laughs> well yeah you got, I mean, you gotta pay bills <laughs> shit no judgment fucking yeah. what's the craziest request a customer has asked of you and did you do it and how much did you make he asked me if i could fart in his face nice did i do it absolutely oh not my God, yes i oh, did not did do it no oh, no 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 i was like yeah listen i don't i've never even farted in front of a boyfriend on accident oh wow the only time i've ever farted in front of a boyfriend is when i woke myself up oh, on accident okay. <laughs> so like that's it <laughs> nice so <laughs> no okay so you got that when you declined that offer any other ones that you did get asked and you did do like mm. i want to i don't know buy, uh, put your g-string in my mouth or i want to uh, i don't know something anything weird no no some guy did want to buy uh one of my outfits that i was wearing that oh. was the, probably the weirdest thing and i sold it to him oh, i sold yeah. it to him for 600 nice so i was like i was hell like hell yeah yes. it was like a 50 dollar outfit but i I've sold it for 600 dollars. <laughs> oh my god i love that yeah this one was in uh the you know where apache junction is yeah, there's yes. a club out there out there called desert flame and oh, the, okay. i like i like working there because majority of the girls that work there look like apache junction oh okay <laughs> <laughs> and so like hell yeah you know that's awesome 
So, okay, so you said you're on a break from it uh, for now. Mm -hmm. So do you are you do you think you're gonna go back uh, to dancing? Uh, probably once season starts up again, because like we have like summertime is stupid, like yeah. it's dead as hell. See, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Once like all the snowbirds and stuff come back, like in like November to like mm -hmm. March ish, that's when it's popping. So yeah. probably like around Christmas time, I'll go back. Okay. Get that holiday, fellas. Get ready. <laughs> oh, Christmas time. Go get your taco twerk on. And yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little snail trail. Exactly. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we love the snail trails here at the Big Hair Don't Care podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um what was that i was gonna i was gonna ask something and i totally just forgot uh was something to do with a strip club oh so have you ever uh had like a beef or a feud with any other like strippers that you work with oh um, pretty cool pretty uh, like so I, I i stick to myself always yeah. i don't i hate drama i mean i love other people's drama don't right. get me wrong i love hearing other people's drama but like i don't like being involved in drama i've never there was one time where i almost got into it with a girl but it didn't it didn't go any further yeah. than what it did um there like one of my first couple of days at this club was does that i don't know oh sorry um <laughs> <laughs> one of my first couple of days like at this club uh this this older so get this so like my first day at one of the clubs the only dancer there was about 65 no no okay let me say 55 <laughs> she looked about 65 swear to god <laughs> true fucking story one tooth oh. fake tiggle bitties down to her oh belly i'm not kidding you i wow. wish i was but you know she she was one of the first dancers at the club that like i worked at and like i heard her over talking to another group of dancers mm -hmm. and like all oh, these old bitches aren't shit like they're stealing all the money and i'm like or no all these new bitches all mm -hmm. these new bitches and i was like i looked at her and i was like i know you're talking about me because i'm the only new yeah. girl that's working right now mm -hmm. and i was like you're just mad because you're like 108 For still real. trying to work the shit yeah like, yeah no. mm -hmm. but yeah she just got mad because one of her customers gave me exactly a hundo, he, so like, yeah <laughs> for sure so what made you the very first day that you uh you know did stripping went to a club what was it that led up to that what were just you're like fuck i need money man what can i do or what uh you know sparked the whole let me go dance at the club and make some money uh being spiteful to my ex-boyfriend nice. one of my ex-boyfriends i was like fuck this fool you know he's always like ah oh. and i was like you know i'm gonna go be a stripper and then yeah i was i i i made uh i worked on christmas eve at dream palace Oh, okay, yeah. And, like, that's a full nude. But, like, at the time, like, I couldn't be full nude because I didn't have my license oh. and I had just had pasties. Mm -hmm. And um, they, uh, I was there and I made $4,000 and that was enough for me to be like, all right, yeah. you know, it's sold. Like, Christmas is already taken care of. Everybody's exactly. getting, like, $1,000. Like, Amen to that. So, yeah, just being spiteful and it worked out for me, you know. Well, hell yeah. Yeah, I like I said... I see absolutely nothing wrong with it. I, no. I mean, I'm all about, you want to be a lady of the evening, you want to be an escort, you want to be a stripper. I'm all about the, uh, you're pulling Sorry. the set down here, Taco. That's okay. Um, I'm all about do whatever you want to do. Just be safe about it, whatever it, you know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, give a shit. Make sure. your money, man. Make that bag, as they call it, you know. For Who gives sure, a dude. shit? 